Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Thomas Keyboy, weather rate certified 11 years in a row. Good afternoon, Utah. Happy Wednesday. We're halfway through the work week. Easter is in a few days. You wouldn't know that. It would feel more like Christmas. We kind of have that Christmas feel out there. This was shared by Chris Williams. This was the view in South Jordan last night. And again, it looks more like Christmas out there, even though we are about to turn the page towards Easter here coming up. We have seen a lot of snow, especially along the Wasatch Front. This was shared by Sharon Devaney. In Taylorsville, 10 inches of snow on the ground. John Strait shared this from the Salt Lake City bench near 18 inches of snow, but the highest totals we've seen in the Salt Lake Valley. Sandy, over two feet of snow with this most recent storm cycle. East Layton, Carol Semro sent this one in. A little difficult getting out of the driveway. It has been a rough go of things as we have gone over the last few days, especially down in our valleys with the mountains just seeing unprecedented snowfall over five feet, Little Cottonwood Canyon and the snow water equivalent continues to climb earlier this morning. The report came in 29 and a half inches of snow water equivalent. That's how much water is stored in the mountains. If you were to melt all that snow down, how much water you'd be left over with. And I wasn't able to update the graphic. The most recent update just came in 29.8. We are closing in on 30 inches of snow water equivalent, which is the current record. We are currently sitting at the record when it comes to snow water equivalent, and we are going to continue to see more snow, especially in the northern mountains as we continue through today. The winter storm warning for the Wasatch Mountains has been extended until 6 o'clock. We could see an additional 1 to 3 inches of snow with locally higher amounts, and it's still snowing in both Big and Little Cottonwood Canyon. And we're also still seeing snow around Snow Basin, so the Ogden area mountains seeing snow, eastern Box Elder County seeing snow, Cache Valley still seeing snow in spots. The eastern portion of Salt Lake County seeing snow. We're seeing a little bit of snow near Point of the Mountain and also still seeing snow around the Wasatch back as we're now moving into this afternoon in the eastern portion of the state. The bulk of what we're seeing when it comes to snow showers generally in the high country, and that's also the case in southwestern Utah with a few snow showers around Bryan Head, but we're also seeing some spots with some sunshine in the southern portion of the state as well. Here's the view from Utah State University in Logan overlooking Cache Valley. You got snow on the left and a little bit of blue sky on the right, but at least it's not the unrelenting snow that we've gotten used to in recent days in Cache Valley with over two feet of snow in Logan since this past weekend. Right close to Lodge in Moab, we do have a few showers around, but we also have some blue sky. How pretty of a view is this, though? I mean, that's just gorgeous when it's chilly, sitting at 40 degrees. Meanwhile, the view in St. George, mostly sunny skies. And we need the sunshine because in St. George, it's still chilly. We're sitting at 43 degrees. We're just above freezing along the Wasatch Front in most locations, but still sitting at 15 degrees in Park City. And we're sitting at 33 degrees right now in Logan. And those daytime highs won't be moving much compared to what we're seeing out there currently. Mainly 30s across the state. The Wasatch back will see daytime highs in the upper 20s. Middle 30s down in Cedar City. 54 in St. George in northern Utah. Outside of any snow showers, we'll generally see partly sunny to mostly cloudy skies. But as you make your way south of I-70, we'll mainly be talking about mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. So it is an improvement, especially down in southern Utah. But with a wave of energy moving in, this is kind of the last bit of energy with this system that we're, we've been talking about. Still going to have the chance for some thunderstorms in the northern portion of the state and in the eastern portion of the state as we go throughout this afternoon. So something to keep in mind there that stretches all the way from the Utah Idaho line all the way down through eastern Utah. So let's go ahead and begin the future cast and as we go from this afternoon. We're going to continue to see the chance for snow showers generally in northern Utah and in eastern Utah. Notice what happens though as we get into this evening. High pressure will start to build in and by tonight all that moisture moves away towards the east. And high pressure will set up shop for the second half of this week. Tonight will be turning very cold with some clearer skies and the cold temperatures in place. But as quickly as we get into tomorrow afternoon with that high pressure moving a little bit further to the east, winds are going to return out of the south and our temperatures will be going on a warming trend as it looks like we're going to be sticking with dry skies into and through the Easter weekend. And notice the temperatures here on the seven day forecast in St. George will be in the middle 50s today, middle 60s tomorrow, low to mid 70s on Friday and then upper 70s and low 80s for the upcoming Easter weekend. We'll be keeping a very close eye on the flooding concerns. We could see middle 80s by Monday. Then along the Wasatch front, we'll keep the chance for snow showers generally through the first portion of this afternoon. We'll be clearing by the time we get into tonight. Then it's middle 40s for our Thursday low 50s possibly on Friday middle 50s possible on Saturday then daytime highs climbing into the low and mid 60s on Sunday and we could even reach 70 degrees on Monday so we're going to go through a big change once we get past today going to feel like spring by the time we get into the Easter weekend Brian Jillian will do thank you Thomas